What's up guys today? How are you guys today on YouTube? By the way, I want to talk to you guys today on what can you use to power your salvage the Apple file on your old computer speakers. Now it's a couple ways you can power this mini amp file. You can use batteries. You can also use the wall adapter that comes with it, but as the wall adapter is kind of dead, you really can't use the adapter for it, you know what I mean? You know, it's like, okay, how do we power the mini amp file I'm going to be using in some different project here? Now, the reason why I want to explain to you guys today, I have uh, three different ways to power the amp file. Um, I can use double A's, I can use a 9 volt, two 9 volt batteries, or I can also use a 6 volt uh, lead acid sealed battery to actual power it itself. Now, I don't know, is it going to work? It might work. Is it going to have enough amps in it? Eh, it might. But as long as it has enough amps and voltage, it should uh, be okay to power the amp file itself. But well, you know, some amp files will be powered from, can be used from 6 to, I think, 12 volts. Or the max has 12 volts on these little, uh, little amp files, but if you have a 9 volt battery, you can also use that too. But if you're going to be using two 9 volt batteries, that would be 18 volts. But you need to step it down to 12 volts by using a voltage regulator. If you're going to use a 6 volt sealed elastic battery, that would be good because uh, you also need a charger to charge that battery as well. Now, all these uh, three methods, they're all rechargeable batteries. Uh, I have rechargeable nickel hydrate and also a rechargeable sealed elastic battery. But I want explain to you guys on what the problem is <coughs> with the rechargeable batteries. Once you stick the batteries inside of a, a box or an enclosure, whatever you decide to use for your mini amp file to actually use, but the one problem is you're going to constantly take the batteries out and have to actually charge them on the charging station it actually goes to. And, I, and that's a big problem with, for any type of mini type of amplifier you decide to build, it's like you constantly have to take the batteries in and out to actually charge them. But if it's a way I can actually use a sealed acid lead battery without taking it out and charging it, can I just charge it on the inside of the box? Probably you could, you just might have to build your own charging circuit to actually charge the battery itself. Now let's go and turn you guys around and show you the three different batteries I have, right? And also I might test out it just to show you how it works. Alright, hey you guys. There is my bookshelf speakers, I wired to the mini amplifier itself. But here's the first uh, source of batteries. This is just a standard AA uh, pack with a 9 volt clip. With four batteries here, it does actually power the amp does fine. And down below here, we have the lead acid sealed battery. I'm thinking about using this battery because it's a lot bigger. But this one here is a kind of a gone or here. This one's a, a dead old. But this actual has a charging circuit. I'm going to be salvaging out of a older uh, flashlight to actually charge the circuit on the inside of this battery. And the last two is the 9 volt batteries. Will be kind of cool. But the problem with these 9 volt batteries is these 9 volt batteries would have to be taken out of the box to be able to be charged on its charging station. And I'm thinking about going with different on ideals for different battery sources here. And by the way, everything seems to be hooked up kind of nicely. 
kind of nice. Got my left and my right speaker hooked up just fine. And also having the wires, making sure the wires are not touching on the amp itself. And let's go ahead and see if this battery pack is going to have enough power to power this amp. And there is the light. You guys can see the light is on. That's telling me the batteries are working just fine. Now, I don't know how long these batteries will last on a single charge on the way the system is designed. And that's why you can use different batteries. Like you can use a 6 volt battery or you can also use two 9 volt batteries. It'd be kind of cool to have all sorts of different ways to power your mini amplifier. Now, of course you can also use a power adapter to get more out of your mini amp like this. You can just use one of these uh, amp uh, mini plugs here. You can plug that in your wall and you just plug that into your amp file itself. And that would work just fine and that would actually have a constantly powered up. But if you want to make this as a portable uh, function, you want to use batteries. Now, the reason why the idea of using batteries is to actually have it portable to able to use to take it anywhere you want to go anywhere with speakers also would be the best ideal to make sure you have a good uh, good sound quality of your amp with good batteries now it only depends on the battery's lifespan of how the batteries are going to react, on how long the batteries are going to use every single day. On one issue, once you put them in an enclosure, do yourself a favor, make sure you charge them first, put them in, and if you constantly have to take them back out, you would constantly just have to put them on the charger and charge it that way. That's why I was like, hmm, maybe I can use the 6 volt battery from my, one of my old flashlights and take out its circuit board and to use that to charge the battery itself without me using my 9 volts or my double A's batteries. It only depends on the amps and how much the batteries can hold. Alright? It's going to turn you guys over here. But it's pretty cool. It's uh, really awesome to uh, power things with batteries. Now, by the way, this is a 9 volt piece of equipment here. By the way, this is all DC. Like I said, this is very safe to touch. But, like I said, I don't recommend having it plugged into the wall with the own style plug. Now, the batteries are important. The batteries are what's going to give you the power on your amplifier itself. Only pretends on what you want to try to power with two 9 volt batteries. Now, with two 9 uh, volt batteries, is you have to step it down to 12 volts. These will be eight, two 18 volt batteries once these two are connected. Now, these, if you buy a non pack like this, a you know standard pack battery pack kill. You buy one of those, you could have four batteries. But if you want 12 volts, you're going to need two more of these to actually work for this unit. Now, go on these. These batteries will be a lot uh, bigger. And this is a 6 volt battery. I can actually use this 6 volt battery and I haven't tried it yet because this one, like I said, it's a somewhat a Dunnel style battery. It's kind of like that. Diddle. But does it work? Yes, it plays just fine. I'm very happy with the way everything somewhat lays out and the way everything seems to work on both of uh, the speakers. Now, by the way, these are both bookshelf speakers. These are not going to be a portable speakers. I'd recommend using a little bit smaller speakers to actually use 
on your portable uh, device itself. Now, let's go ahead and do a little music kill and let's test it out and just to show you guys on how everything will work just off of a single battery. I am pretty impressed on how the batteries will actually hold and also functions to power this amplifier. Let's see. Oh. Well, you guys can see, things are pretty good. There's that speaker, and there's that speaker. Flying does fine, but on the batteries themselves. Now, <clears throat> you're constantly have to check on your batteries just to make sure they are not getting too hot and not getting overloaded with too much current going through. Now, this is a good idea to check your batteries. Pretty good. I really like the idea this is going to be to power this many amplifiers. I really like it. Three different ways to power your many amplifiers to use as a portable device. Awesome. But, hey, it's just a testing kind of stage here, guys. But I'm thinking about just using this a standard 6 volt battery. I think that would give me enough voltage and also enough amperage as well to actually use it. Alright guys, if you guys are bringing to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. Please share. Please like. Peace out. Bye guys. We'll keep you somewhat updated on this mini amplifier. Alright, bye guys.